Hi, this is Team Restrator Apps. A lot of our clients have reached out to us and asked us if it is possible for them to charge their customers for any donation amount in exchange for their memberships. Now the answer to this question is yes. And in this video, I will be showing you how to set that up. Now the first step would be to create a form. So I have prepared my form here. The necessary fields that you should add are the name field. The, these are the basic fields, name field and email field. And then the more important fields would be the product field. Now the product field should be transformed or changed into a user defined price. So again, the field type should be user defined price. And we can change this, the field lab label to donation. So in this field, this is where your customers would input the amount of donation they'd like to, um, they'd like to pay for you for their, for in exchange for your memberships. Now, after adding the product field, the next, the next field that you should add would be either the drop down or radio button. You can use either one of them. Now in this tutorial, I'll be using the radio button. This is where you will be adding your member press or I mean your member press membership. So make sure that you hit on show values and then import the member press membership by hitting on the bulk add or predefined choices. So this is the membership that I would like to sell. I'll just simply select this and click on insert choices. Now, um, since we're only selling one membership, it, we would recommend um, selecting this field, making sure that this is always selected, and then go, go to advance um, tab so that you would hide it. That way your customers won't necessarily, or that way your customers won't just have to click anything and will be directly added to the member to this membership, especially if you're only selling one. Now that you have done that, we'll proceed with click on adding the total and the credit card field. Now the credit card field is optional. That depends on the payment method that you are using. I'm just gonna make sure that this is saved. So I'll just hit on update and then we can, and then after that we can proceed with creating the gravity press feeds and the other necessary feeds. So we'll start with the gravity press feed. I'm just gonna go to settings and then gravity press. So I was already able to create one, but I'm just gonna walk you through a new and the settings of my feed. Okay. So as what we always tell our customers, these numbers should match. That way you won't have any problems in your user registration later on. And for the member press level field, you need to select the membership field, the radio button or the drop down button that we've set up earlier where we've imported our membership. So the name of that my radio button field that I've created earlier or added earlier is donation membership. So I'm just going to select that and then I'm just going to update settings to save it. Click on update settings to save it and all right. So we're done with that. Just make sure this is activated. And then the next step would be to create your user registration feed. So if you are adding your customers to your user, I mean to your site, this is the feed that you should set up. Just simply select create user, set this up, select the role that you would want to add them to, and then just update settings. Now the last step would be to create a payment feed. So since I am using the payment method Stripe, I'll be creating a new Stripe feed. So 
So these are my settings. The transaction type is set to products and services because um, the membership that I've created or added earlier was a lifetime membership. So it's a one-time payment and that is that is why I'm selecting products and services. But if in any case that you, that it, you would want to use the recurring subscription, then just click on subscription. And then the payment amount should be the product field we've set up earlier, the one that we've changed or the, the one that we've transformed into a user-defined price. So the name of that field was donation. Now I'm just going to select that. And then I'm going to hit on update settings. So everything's saved. You're already done and now we can try and test it out. So I've already embedded the form in the new page. Now I'm just gonna make just gonna make sure that everything's working fine and then test it. So I'm just gonna submit that. Alright, so I'll just check my membership transaction page to confirm that we've, we've successfully received that payment or donation amount. And it is successful. I can see it under my transactions page under member press and my subscription page under non-recurring tab. Here it is. Here it is. So this is how you set that up. Now, if you have other questions around this, feel free to email us. We'll be happy to assist you. Thanks.